Tech Session 1. I'm just going to give you a brief update about this. So here's the template itself. Make sure that you've written your name, semester, and certification area, and then make sure that you pick a design from clicking the Design tab and choosing one of the different design options. You can also choose from the different colors here if you wish, and then you can begin talking about the actual slides. So I'm going to go to slide number two, and if you remember from Tech Session 1, you were to choose your first focus area. There are four different kinds, so you choose the one that you feel that you did the best in first. So I'm going to go ahead and delete the rest from here. So child focused. Now if you are in EC through 6, you'll pick your first content area that focuses on the child and your second content area that focuses on the child. You will name the lesson or activity under each and then you can begin going to the next slides, which are two slides right here to go with your first activity and two slides right here to go with your second activity. So slide three and four are placeholders for your pictures and five and six are placeholders for your pictures from your second activity. Now if you're in four through eight, you'll only have one content area, but you'll want to name your lesson or your activity here, and you'll probably, if you have another one under this child-focused area, you'll probably want to name it here too. But if you are in four through eight, it's okay to have only one. EC through six, you must have two. All right, so that covers slide one, two, through six. So let's go to slide number seven now. Here's slide number seven. You're going to, again, choose a different focus area. So we started off with child focus. I'm gonna go ahead and delete the rest from here. Now I'm focusing just on technology focused. So I'm going to list my first content area here and then the lesson or activity that I want to put with this one and then my second content area here and the lesson and activity with this one. Again, just like before, slide eight and nine are artifact slides or picture slides for this first area and slides 10 and 11 are again um, artifact slides or picture slides for the second content area. Just like before, if you are in four through eight, then you'll only have one content area and probably four pictures to go with it or two pictures, whatever it is that's necessary for your area. Um, another thing about technology focus, you've done many technology assignments this semester. You can choose to put um, the jumping off page here or the digital story here and the way to get those into your PowerPoint is just to open up that project and hit print screen on your screen and then right click and paste it as a picture into your artifact slides here. Okay, so we've talked about slide 7, slide 8, 9, 10, and 11 are for the technology focus. So let's go to slide 12. Again, you're going to choose a different focus area, so we've already done the first two. I'm going to go ahead and choose my next one. Now remember, you can choose any focus you want in any of these slides, so it doesn't, just because I'm following a certain order doesn't mean that you have to follow the same one. Okay, so my next is content focus. So I'm going to list my first content area here, and then I'm going to name the activity underneath. Um, okay, so I'm going to list my first content area here, and my second content area here, I'll name the actual lesson or the activity. So just like before, content doesn't have to be a lesson plan. It can even be a book box or professional development that you've done to build your content. It can even be a research binder you've created. Um, if you just get creative and if, so again slide 13 14 15 and 16 are going to be artifacts for these content areas and activities so let's go to slide 17 so now we've pretty much done the first three content areas so the last one is left here so I'm going to go ahead and pick that and then I'm going to be naming my content area here and the second content area here. So again, slide 18, 19, 20, and 21 are the artifact slides for slide 17. So basically what you'll end up with is something that looks like this. Okay, here we have our slides and I've just put clip art just to make it look a little bit more appealing in, in this area. I've got my portfolio presentation listed here um, I've got my semester listed here, and I've got my name up here. Okay, so here's slide number one. 
I've got slide number two with my focus area. I've got some clip art and I've got my lesson plan named right here. I've got a picture and what I'll want to do is cover their faces with a smiley face or some other form of clip art before I actually finalize these pictures. Number four is another picture showing the activity. Then five is technology focused. I've got a little bit of clip art here and I've got my, um, my lesson or activity named here. So here's slide number six. I'm also showing um, a technology project and then slide number seven. I don't have any more than that because I'm just showing you the skill set. So just remember, you can add clip art to add some more interesting areas. You definitely want to make sure that you've got your focus written and then the activity. If you're in EC through six, you'll have two written here. If you're in middle school or evening, you'll have one written here. All right, so what you're going to do now is you're going to click on file and you're going to click on save as. You're going to come down to this drop down arrow and you're going to make sure that you choose JPEG. And it's right down here, it will say JPEG. Once you choose that, make sure to rename this into your presentation. So I'm going to put digital portfolio presentation and then my initials. Okay. And then when I click save, just make sure you're saving it to the right place, either on your desktop or inside of your flash drive. I'm gonna go ahead and click save. And it's going to ask me if I want to export every slide or only the current slide. So make sure you select every slide. Okay, once you see this properties box, then you can go ahead and click okay. So what you can do now is just go ahead and close this out and then open up your documents to see what this looks like. So I'm going to go into my, and there it is. So you can see right here, I placed this into my um, flash drive and it's called digital portfolio presentation with my initials. When I double click, I can see all of my slides in JPEG form. You'll probably end up with either 21 slides or a little bit less or a little bit more. Um, I just have seven slides that I'm gonna be working with for this presentation. Okay, so that basically ends that part.